Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and this time I decided to do a mod for my Atari 2600. This is a PAL uh, 2600, the 6 switcher and uh, I thought I wanted to play one or two games on it and I didn't feel like sitting there and having to tune it in using the old RF connection. So I did a bit of browsing on the net and looking for an AV mod for it and there's a lot of them available so this is just a short little video on what to do or if you want to do your own little AV mod you can go and purchase one if you want there's a lot of them available on eBay cost you around 24 25 euros but why do that uh, I had a lot of bits and pieces lying around here it's quite a simple little mod I used old components that I collected here and then everywhere it takes two little transistors I'm oh, sorry one transistor and two resistors and a tiny little piece of PCB and a little bit of soldering and uh, Bob's your auntie, you've got an AV mod for your Atari so yeah check it out guys okay so let's get started first of all we need to build our little PCB now there was two sites that I used mainly and I'll put links further down below so that you can actually also have a look at their, their sites and the work that they've done but there's numerous sites on the net um, that actually show you how to build this little uh, PCB and do the little AV mod but basically, um, if you have a look at um, Inspector Gadget, whose little PCB I used, you're going to need three components. One transistor, which is a 2N3904, and two resistors, which are a 2200K uh, resistance and a 3300K. Now, the way that I figured that out eventually... <laughs> after going through my huge big box full of resistors is that um, using the color chart uh, I found it easiest you can see there that the um, resistors have colors on them and it's three little red bands which is what gives me the 3300k because the red is three so it's three three and then the number of zeros and the 2200 is two orange which is 2 and 2 and the little red band which then gives me the the multiplier which then makes it 2200 so those are the two resistors and the transistor that I need then I used a piece of this um, PCB you can get this at any electronic shop and you can it, it, you can cut little pieces off it it's, it's quite simple and quite easy to actually do and then using the diagram I just copied that diagram and uh, soldered up the little PCB. Okay, when installing the transistor, you can see it's got three legs. And uh, it's very important that you put the legs in the correct way. And uh, as per the diagram, you can see that there's a C, B and E leg, which stands for the C being the collector, B being the base, and E being the um, emitter. So if I hold the resist the transistor in this way and you can have a look on do a Google search if you want to you can see which leg that is the collector that's the base and that's the emitter so keeping that in mind now we know how to actually place it into the actual PCB board okay so we've started building a little PCB remembering now that the copper tracks run downwards they straight all the way so this is my transistor and as per the diagram, B is the middle leg. It's connected to the two resistors. So it runs along there. There's a resistor. There's a resistor all together. They're all connected. Now, the C leg of the transistor is connected to that pin there of the resistor. This resistor is on the following track because that's where you're going to have your ground in that comes in there as well as your ground out this track over here your C your collector you're also going to have your 5 volt in coming through there so your ground in and out 5 volt in over here now your emitter side which is right here on this side is where you're going to have your video out so it's going to come out here now what about the audio well basically your audio is straight from the boards audio to audio and that's why you can sort of take it anywhere here um, on the board. You can put your audio there to there, in and out. You can take a straight um, 
a piece of, of, of wire and, and do it that way or you could like I did I just went and made sure it wasn't connected to anything else I just went in here and out over there for my audio and guys it's as simple as that just follow the diagram and then once you've done that you can then go and cut this little board just using a little tin snips or, or side cutters and uh, it cuts very easily and then it's just a matter of soldering up your components now if I turn it around you'll see what I mean let me just turn it around okay so there are the legs as I said the copper tracks are running down now like this and you just solder each one of those okay so once our PC board is done it's now a matter of just taking apart our Atari 2600 as I said um, this is a PAL system it's a six switcher one two three four five six switcher classic old machines you always love the feel and the wood grain and so forth uh, and very easy to take apart um, basically it's just got um, a couple of screws around take them loose and uh, it sort of comes apart inside you're going to have the metal shell and you're going to take that apart as well there's one little clip that you need to take apart and then you can expose the innards and get the motherboards out and then we can take it from there okay I've stripped off the, um, the, the outers before I take loose that connect over there and actually remove this part of the motherboard remember this is a PAL system so it's slightly different to the NTSC I'm going to remove the actual RF connector over here because according to the site it says that, that it might reduce or it can reduce some of the interference so basically what they tell you is that you can just snip it and then uh, the little wires that hold it on here with the side cutters and uh, off it'll come so let me do that quick now the reason why I actually wanted to remove the actual RF unit over there was that I want my wires to come in through these holes on this side. So yeah, let me just solder those little wires in. Right, there you have it. The first little hole is the ground. Skip one. Second one is your 5 volts. And then your video, which is the next one. So it's simple, just stuck it through from that side soldered them up on this side over here just making sure that it's nice and neat and that yeah my solders look good and uh, yeah that's it now I can start putting it back together again and I've taken my sound from over there on the board it's actually clearer to see on the actual schematic okay so it's a simple matter of just putting this little connector edge connector back in making sure that it holds it there that's going to sit nicely on there and then my little PC board I'm actually going to glue it fast there on the side this little area over there okay so I'm just screwing it back together again you can see I've gone and put the plate back on I've taken the little audio through the side over there so that it fits through nicely there and I can just put this plate back on Okay, almost done. I actually went and extended these cables over here so that I can put the RCA plugs in the front and not on the side as I originally wanted to. I actually think I prefer to have all the control, all the um, outputs. Let's just take it up here. There. I prefer to have them all at the one side of the machine just to make it easier and simpler on my desk as well. So you can see there I put the video which is the green one and the sound which is the audio over there the red one and uh, now I'm just going to neaten it up here inside so that the cables are not sticking all over the place and then I'll put it back together and we can test it out okay guys after testing it um, I wasn't hundred percent happy with the picture so I decided to remove this little coil which was over here as recommended um, to improve the actual quality of the picture so now that I've removed it I'm going to see what the quality is like okay let's plug it in I'm gonna play a little bit of centipede I just grabbed the first little game that was available and uh, yeah let's switch it on and see what it's like well actually not too bad as you can see the graphics are good I mean the picture is actually pretty clear um, it looks it looks actually really impressive I'm actually I think it's actually came out very nicely the sound well, it's fine. I mean, the sound is clear. I don't foresee any issues with it. Um, the game is playing fine. Um, so I think success.
I mean, what do you think, guys? I think it actually came out quite alright. Okay, so the mod is now finished. Here's the end product. I think it actually came out quite well. The sound is very good. The video is alright. Uh, as, as good as I thought it would be. Uh, especially after I removed, firstly, that transistor, which I showed you. As well as that little quail thing. Let me grab it over here. So, removing this little quail thing improved the, the picture quality and removing that uh, little transistor removed it as well. So, overall, a simple little mod and uh, I hope you guys give it a bash.